awesome movie. It was great. It was awesome. I thought it was fantastic. I was really impressed to see that entire battle group from so many different countries come together in the Pacific Rim. You know, you don't realize how many allies we have and how, how, how people work together, you know. And when they all come together and you see all the ships together going out there with all the uh, defensive capability and offensive capability, it's just it's staggering. The men in there that would risk their lives for us, their nation, their state, the thought of that is extraordinary. I thought it was good. I really liked how they explained like the mechanics of the plane and the aircraft carrier. I liked how you compared it to um, naval battles of you know the past. I also uh, really liked how um, you talked about the technology of all the different um, components of the fleet. Having served on a carrier myself, I was on the USS Yorktown before she was retired. It was the most exciting time that I ever spent. Taking off from a carrier is a kick in the butt, and then getting that landing, like he says, it's euphoric. It was a lot of fun. All the battleships? The ships. I like the, the captain, um, who was a prior naval aviator. You could see how he used all his experience to um, command the fleet. Teamwork on the on the de flight deck. I was a green shirt for electronics. The brown shirts, the yellow shirts, the orange shirts. We all worked together. That was the best. Seeing all of them work together, and and I was very impressed to see a lady admiral. I think that was great. I was so delighted to see so many women involved, and I think even 10 years ago that wouldn't have been the case, and that's what delighted me the most. That the aircraft carrier was powered by nuclear power. The aspects of the operation of the aircraft carrier. I'm surprised that they actually went in and with the with the cameras and showed you everything. I forget what they call it, but the catch when the planes land on the carrier. The way the they land on the aircraft carrier. How the the, the catch hook catches the cable. It's like, man, is he gonna catch it? Is he gonna catch it? It would grab onto it and stop in less than two seconds. You see this huge aircraft coming in. And then all of a sudden it just stops. How that works with the pistons and, and the opposing uh, hydraulics and air pressure and that is just so cool. That part really amazed me. The catapult system on the aircraft, on the launch, uh, launching the F-18s on the carrier, that was powered by steam and that was pretty cool to learn. They used like um, steel braided wires to slow the planes down because I didn't know that. I learned a great deal. I knew nothing about the subject when I started. My dad served in the Navy. I had no idea how important the Navy is and how much it does. And I was fascinated by how the planes landed. That cable business, oh, that was incredible. Wow. Support our military forces, you know, support the Navy, support, you know, the armed forces of the United States, you know what I mean? To know that you have a we have these people, you know, in the military that are out there and they're sacrificing their time, their life and everything to protect us so I can take my kids to the museum and be safe, you know what I mean? That's awesome too. It was, a, it was cool. It was very cool. And I'm glad I, I was able to expose my kids to that and I give them a little more education as far as uh, who's out there watching out for us. The message that, yeah. that I saw was that we have to continue to have a strong U.S. Navy. We have to deter war in the anywhere in the world. It's sad that we have to be the police of the world, but it's a good thing we can. We have some problems maybe, but we're still the good guys. We take care of the rest of the world. Hoorah Navy! <laughs> Probably everyone in the universe. Well, mostly my dad because he's an engineer. It was interesting, so yeah, it's awesome to go see it. I would probably tell my friend George because he likes some um, military stuff.